This is Eyewitness News. Now, Michelle Tuzzi, Mark Brown, Dallas Reigns, and Rob Fukazaki with the Southland's number one news at six. A dispute over health care is headed to L.A. Superior Court. It involves a group that manages hundreds of people with AIDS. Their funding is getting cut. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez has more on a fight in which this group is running out of time. The health of Arthur Vitito was on a death spiral. Full-blown AIDS led to life-threatening infections. I had cryptococcal meningitis, which left me blind in my left eye, deaf in my left ear, and unable to walk. A program called Positive Healthcare, funded by Medi-Cal, turned him around. 800 clients like Vitito have registered nurse case managers who link them to a full range of support. Today, Vitito's AIDS is barely detectable. Now, though, a new threat. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation administers positive health care. The state is slashing their funds 18 percent. We can't just simply cut back on the, the services that they receive from their health plan. They, they need a certain amount of services to remain healthy, and we, we, can't, we can't do it. I'm afraid that I would end up like the people that you see on Skid Row. Okay, that are pushing their chairs. Maintaining the funding stream is so critical, the AIDS Foundation is doing more than lobbying Sacramento. They filed a lawsuit. The suit says the contract price per patient is consistent with state and federal law. Failure to follow the law puts members at risk. What baffles the providers is that the program actually saves the state money. Over seven and a half million dollars to this point in time. If I don't have this type of care, I'm going to be in a convalescent home somewhere costing the state some serious money. The Department of Health Care Services tells Eyewitness News they are offering an enhanced package. However, it would require that positive health care pay for pricey medications. The net result? Fewer funds. On Friday, a judge will rule on a temporary restraining order to put cuts on hold. If denied... Didado and 800 others with AIDS will lose their program on March 31st. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.